Hey, hello there. This is a tutorial for the Well Tools update. As you can see, uh, we created a new advanced weld uh, or intersection weld. When you have a collection of objects, as we can see here, uh, and they are intersecting in certain points, you can take these intersections and create a weld from them, as you can see here. Here I also made one where the burn, burn marks are in the material. I will explain that a little bit later. But first, when we go into the weld, you see that here all the parts are welded together. Uh, it is by the collection that we can select here in the parameters. If we go to weld radius, we can scale it up. So it's actually the width of the weld. You see that it takes a little bit of time. That's because we are using a few Boolean meshes in geometry nodes to create this effect. Um, you can also set the weld thickness. So it becomes a little bit more material. There we go. And here you can set the smoothness of the weld. As you can see, now it's a little bit smoother. And also when we go into the material view, here we have toggle lines. We can add or uh, turn off the lines, the weld lines, as you can see here. So this looks a little bit more smooth. The lines are created by the resolution of the mesh. So if we go to weld resolution here, and it will set a uh, edge loop every 0 0.02 meters, then you will see here in a moment that the lines will be closer together. There we go. So it's taking uh, every index of the intersection line of these objects and then with a ping pong math node we take every other point or actually every other edge loop and then uh, make it come out with a bump map and this way we created these lines so if we put that one a bit higher let's say five also the mesh gets a little bit more smooth see here you don't see the lines here the smoothness of the intersections also the split into three when we set that to two it has more resolution but it goes a little bit more into the creases of the model you can see it happening here this one you can set maybe half smoothness see it will become a little bit sharper so, we put this to 2, is it 1.1, 1. 1. it was, with less size, then here we can see it was. And now, this is the weld, the weld lines, and here you can see we also have burn marks. So, if we go into the geometry nodes, uh, right here, then we take the objects in that collection that we have here that we turn off uh, we do a mesh boolean and we just take the intersection lines so if we go here we say viewer then we connect this one view what we're doing here we have the intersection lines of uh, all the objects and what we do with that we create a geometry proximity so we know how far in the material that line is away and if we just delete this again go into shading you see here we have the black from the weld the weld is on top material object here we have the burn what we can do is we can turn on the weld again we can expand that burn area here and we can also expand the color area so the gradient of the rainbow colors that you get with certain metals you can widen or make it a little bit more sharper so that is how we do it we take this burn 
we add a little bit of noise also so it's a little bit more wiggly uh, and then we add it all together with here the uh, color ramp all the rainbow colors and then this is the uh, bump map that's on it here we have with a uh, four annoying we create this galvanized look so we have all these patches that are galvanized in the metal we also have that geometry node but if we go into the geometry nodes oh here you can see the material this is uh, the facing that has a color also the iridescent colors here we just take the object we create the normals from a Voronoi it's actually just this one without the lines here from the weld color we create the lines it's just a trick with the indices every other indice every other index so that is the advanced weld tool you can see the geometry node one, one node you can go into it you can see what it does there's a mesh boolean and then you take the line then we extrude it and then we take the mesh boolean again uh, this way you see a little bit did it i can go into it further if you want to build it yourself uh, into another tutorial this is just for uh, how to use the tool so we go out this node and what we also did we turn this one off we have the draw welds and let's go here and we can see if we select this you see all the parameters so first of all we created a selection menu where you can select like a v-shaped weld we have a o-shaped weld it's just a dot and we have a line shape weld which is merged line then we have the length and the length if we want to be shaped is the space between all the weld spots we make this two you see we have less weld spots or you have a little bit of space in between this works better with the dots one well the dots turn this back to one so it really becomes a weld line then we have a random rotation random seed you can toggle the heat spots uh, we have the size difference you see big small and randomness back to what we had random seed so have the offset from the object so you can pull a little bit up put it into your model a little bit more the weld thickness so you can thicken up the weld spots we have the weld color so first we have the iridescence which is the uh, rainbow colors that you get when you weld metal with the color then you can the color that you want so for example for anodized aluminum you can get different color welds you can also even mix in the iridescence a bit more saturated but mainly you can just to play with yourself uh, we have the burn width make it a little bit wider the burn marks burn offset also offset the burn mark face and you can toggle it twice move one uh, and in this way we have a lot more options in what we make our welds look like so you can just draw as other tools then draw to on surface draw onto your object where you want your draw lines or your weld lines so these are some improvements to this tool uh, we are going to add probably more different options uh, for different uh, draw welds maybe different systems for uh, making intersection welds but we keep you up to date so we hope this is useful for you